Our RV is in quarantine. Hey guys, this week we're in lockdown. So is our RV. <laughs> if you watched our last video, you know we put a deposit down on an RV, on a DRV LX455. Yes. Beautiful unit we found. And they were doing upgrades and they called me and... We were so close to getting it. Yeah, so we live in Corpus, <laughs> we bought it in Dallas, right? Yeah. Well, they just shut down Dallas, so mm -hmm. our RV is in quarantine. At least it's inside in the bay. It's just that they hadn't finished the upgrades before, you know, we could get it. And I didn't want to drive all the way to Dallas, get it home, and then have to go back there to let them finish what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Plus, you know, we're not moving until June, so. They have it in storage, you said, in the warehouse. Yeah, so it's like free Probably storage. the best place for it right now. Now, we do want it close to us so we can start decorating it and upgrading it mm -hmm. in our ways and other ways we want to do. But that's our situation now. We hope you, you're keeping yourself and yours uh, safe at this time. Mm -hmm. One thing we have been doing was getting ready for it, for that maiden voyage. This is an RV GPS. Mm -hmm. It's kind of wild because we had GPSs in the past and then we used the phones, right? Now we're back to GPS. This is the 780. We looked at the 785. I liked that it had a front camera because I do want a traffic camera um, to record in case anybody jumps in front of you or does something stupid. You can say, wasn't my fault, look. Right. And I'd rather have it in one unit than two separate units. But the 785 that had the camera also didn't get that good of reviews. Right, I guess they had decreased the overall view panel. Yeah, it was a smaller screen. Smaller screen and um, they said that it just was was not good full of bugs yeah but this one had great reviews and it's been out a little while so, so we're looking forward to that we'll let you know i guess that's kind of a trend that we do we don't buy the newest and best but we go with we, what's we kind of buy the best but not the newest true. yeah you know we bought the trucks 2019 when we knew 20s were coming out but i got mm -hmm. a deal on a super duty and they don't give deals on super duties yeah um well same thing with this we got a drv our um, LS 455 is a 2020, and 21s are coming out, and we got a deal. Mm -hmm. So, so we're not saying don't buy nice stuff. We're saying do whatever you want to do. Obviously, you're gonna. But yeah. we're just saying, you know, we like to share our decision making and what we do. We like to buy quality for a good price. In other words, have value in our purchase more than you know cheap stuff at a cheap price. So we didn't want to be one of those like you see on the TV RV. So, what? Where they go shop and they go right onto the lot and they say, uh, "Yeah, our budget is between forty and fifty and thousand. We've Sh chosen three different ones yeah. on the lot. Forty Somewhere. and fifty, and what is it? What do you have? Mm -hmm. And then they just show them what they have on the lot and they choose out of three. Now I know they probably looked at more than three, but even still, don't walk on a lot and buy that day. Look and look and look until you find what you want." Compare, see what they're made out of. What's the quality build? You know, don't what I'm be saying? afraid to drive a little to go get what you want. That's right. And we look at the nation. We do a search mm -hmm. online for the once you get the model number or or the couple of different model numbers. We actually got down to a couple of different model numbers. If we find a deal on any one of them, we would have gone mm -hmm. with it, right? Yeah, we would have. But we had certain stipulations. We had to have that extra bathroom. Mm-hmm. Definitely <laughs> an extra bathroom. <laughs> Bethany gave up the double sinks. <sighs> we bought this. Do you know what this is? A breakaway. Yep. Did you read that? Mm -hmm. It's a breakaway cable. <laughs> this is when you, you plug into your fifth wheel and this other clips onto the truck. That breaks away, it engages the brakes. So it locks down the road. We okay. got this from, um, I didn't get it from, but I got the suggestion from Changing Lanes. Nice. And so I ordered from their Amazon site, Changing mm -hmm. Lanes Amazon site. Just has a thing that's worked well for him for years. So tried and true, I like it. <laughs> What's that for? This is a kingpin lock. So you put it on your kingpin and you lock it so no one can attach their truck and drive away with you asleep in it. <laughs> that's nice. I think that's pretty important. Mm -hmm. And then you saw me putting in the hitch, right?
So what I haven't done <laughs> is put in the Reese. Put in the top. Yeah. That's heavy. Well, I was going to do it because we were going to go pick up the RV, and then they called us and said, you know, it's not ready. So I just said, well, I put that weight in the truck until then. But why do we go with Reese instead of a BMW, which are they're good hitches? Mm -hmm. Well, two reasons. One, this one's rated at twenty-seven thousand pounds. The mm -hmm. Reese is weighed it, rated it. 25. You said the Reese is weighed? I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, the BMW, BMW is rated at 25,000 pounds. Now, we're not going to be over 25,000 pounds, but I like to be overrated in things. It just makes me more comfortable. Mm -hmm. And that leads me to the second reason I bought the Reese. This is the Reese M5, the new one. Okay. Price. I got it for and $900. <laughs> $900 on e-trailer. Wow. Yeah, that's, you know, they're usually around 1800 You know, the BMW, this mm -hmm. was like 1900 retail. So nine hundred dollars hard to beat that. And it's the same makers as what made the puck system in puck the Ford. The system in the Ford. Yeah, Reese des designed the puck system, the fifth wheel prep in the Ford. So I don't know if that really gives any advantage, but yes and no. But I, it's a good idea, right? Mm -hmm. Because even B and W, they make the feet, and so does Pull Right make the feet to, to slip into those. But still, another thing we got for the. like Easter. <laughs> These are the feet. <laughs> Snap pads. Mm -hmm. Now I'm seeing a lot of people, they have, I have six of these by the way. Um, a lot of the people. And if you look those up on Amazon, it would say snap pads. Mm -hmm. okay. That's those feet to go on the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's good to have these, I think, from what I've read and what I've seen, but also people build blocks. So we got to look into that. Okay. You know, because you have these different blocks. It gives you 12 by 12 seems to be the consensus to be the best size. Mm -hmm. um, if you can get some, some thick and glue and screw them together. But also, too, you can stack them if you're on uneven land mm -hmm. somewhere. So you can build up one side of the fifth wheel. Could come in handy, so i got to figure that out because I'm not a woodworker. But I don't think it would take much. So I've got something else. <laughs> what is this, a Frisbee? Nope. On the kingpin, between the kingpin and the hitch, you'd have to put a lot of gunky grease. And that would collect dirt and it would just get nasty. Well, suppose you put these on, on your kingpin, you just mm -hmm. pop it right up and it just slides right on. Nice. Makes it slide without grease. So mm -hmm. here's hoping that. So how do you feel right now about the whole process, the idea of having an RV? It's exciting, kind of. Yeah, because we're still in the unknown. But I'm locked down. <laughs> right, we have we have gone from putting the deposit on it to actually purchasing this. Yeah, we signed the paperwork, we FedExed it to them, and they they have our money, but we have no RV. It's in quarantine. <laughs> it's in quarantine. Right. <laughs> so a, a good thing happened for us too was we found that unit, we got a deal on it, and the feds had dropped prime to like zero or. Point point two five from zero. Mm -hmm. So we got a good interest rate on it. We did four point nine. We'll see what happens. Good. I hope hope this thing's over soon and the economy gets right back. It if it does see right now Feds are lowering that to keep interest rates low. Mm -hmm. But if if you've seen gas price go down, right? Yeah. So that's called deflation. What happens during deflation? Is that called deflation? I don't know. Not necessarily, but it's a sign. It could be a sign. A sign. Yeah, because during deflation, every period, you get lower prices. Mm -hmm. Value of the dollar goes down. They just printed a bunch of money, one point five trillion or something. Anyway, deflation. If we go into a deflationary time, interest rates go up, and it's even hard to get loans. Anybody lived during the Carter area? Era. I mean, it went up to almost 20% home loans. <laughs> and it's hard, and you didn't get a house without 20% down. That's crazy. Yeah, all this 3% down FHA, no, no, it didn't. <laughs> no, that didn't work like that. Anyway, 
so this is where we are. We bought an RV, DRV LX455. It's sitting in quarantine as are, as are we. Yeah, because Dallas is on lockdown. I mean, seriously, Corpus Christi isn't yet, but they're talking about it now. And this is like Tuesday afternoon. And um, But I we've taken the, the national suggestion and yeah. distancing and trying to we stay at home as much as possible. Pretty much only leave the home for um, essentials like work. And groceries or food well as for now we're still we're still on our plan to move into it in June uh, we don't know if we're gonna hit the road off to New Hampshire or anywhere else so we might extend the contract here because mm -hmm. things are still up in the air she's an anesthesia we don't know what her role is gonna look like soon she could be on airway team special soon, intubation or, teams yeah but at least it keeps us working. <laughs> Explain to them what that means. Though. So if um, they said with this disease, um, you could go into a respiratory distress. They call us, we come in to intubate, you know, with all of our personal protective equipment. When they, when they say call her, she works in the OR. Usually so there's different the units of the hospital, room. Mm -hmm. right? And they would call me to like so the emergency is, who room. Is that emergency room? or you know up on the floors wherever they end up you know with a patient that goes into respiratory distress so um, that's what we've been seeing with the disease and then in like six to eight percent of the population that contracts it mm -hmm. so we don't know what her role is because i don't know if you know they've canceled all elective surgeries in most places a lot of places anyway yeah so a lot of what they do, what what would you say about half of them are elective? Mm -hmm. Well, they call it elective if you're not going to die from it, but sometimes um, it's it's important even though it's elective, you right? Know, your knees, hips, um, uh, breast augmentations. You know, well, that's important. Plastic surgeries and um, many other surgeries, but like the essential surgeries would be, I don't know, like an AV graft where you need that if you have kidney disease and uh, we have to put some kind of graft in or um, gallbladders, appendix. So all those you know, surgeries all are still going on, right? You could potentially die from, you know, um, yeah. So harshly needed surgeries mm -hmm. and emergency surgeries are emergency still gonna happen. Emergency surgeries like fractures and car accidents. So what percent of surgeries would you say is elected. I mean, I would venture to say 70% Whoa. are elective. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought that. So a lot of my friends are out. Um, but there's a lot of leeway in what is seen as elective. But see, they have to intubate the airway. That's What is intubation? Where you put a tube into the trachea mm. so that you can breathe for the patient. Just, so they do it all the time, in other words. So yeah. now, in other departments, they don't do it all the time. That's why they may be used as a special team to go. Mm -hmm. and, and it's go and good do. good for us, you know, good for everybody else. We have had a lot of practice, and, you know, we usually get the tube in the first time and limit any coughing or anything on all the other people in the room. So Yeah, I just wanted to catch them up on what you do and why mm -hmm. that would be. But, see, our, that's our situation right now. There's people, you, you don't want to be in between jobs. Remember, we're going to be traveling medical. She's got, it's one job to another. Mm -hmm. Well, in between jobs, they can say, no, matter, actually, I know we talked about it, but don't, that's don't come. That's happened to a lot of my um, friends, actually. Yeah, and you get, you get stuck in between jobs, not good. So, we think we're going to go ahead and extend here. Yeah. At least, you know. <laughs> Corpus is nice, so but we're still going to move nice. into the RV. We're going to go. There's a nice RV park. I mean, nice, big concrete pull-through pads. It's, mm -hmm. it's really nice. They do have some nice RV parks in Corpus. They really do, and you can park right on the beach if you want. So we'll just move into our RV, practice a little bit with the kids. So we have both of our teenagers here, and uh, you know, four, four makes a full house, an LX four fifty five full house. <laughs> so we don't know how long the RV is going to be in quarantine. No one, obviously, no one knows how long this is going to go on. So, but I hope it comes out soon because these videos could get pretty boring. Sorry, <laughs> we wish we had like <laughs> excitement. 
Yeah, we want RV back. action also. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we sure do. But but we appreciate you supporting us mm -hmm. and uh, keep you know keep you and yours safe. Obviously. <laughs> anyway, we'll keep y'all up to date, and we appreciate you sticking with us. Keep it safe. Thank you.